Hi guys, it's Erin. Uh, today is another market prep day. It'll be a little bit different because I don't have nearly the number of uh, tulips that I've had in the past. The tulips are about done. I have a few buckets for this week. I'll have a few more buckets for next week, but that's it. Um, I did just post uh, on Friday a video about what I've ordered for next year. So if you're interested, go check that one out. Uh, but today there's going to be a lot of, a lot more uh, foraging and uh, gathering from around the garden. I have, I have those three big beautiful buckets full of ranunculus, which they're just, they're so gorgeous all by themselves. I have quite a few trees and shrubs that need to be cut back so I can use the foliage and some of the flowers as bouquet ingredients like we have this uh, snowball bush viburnum and I want to prune it up into a tree and get rid of some of these lower branches and it's the perfect time to harvest a bunch of these flowers because when they're still sort of green just barely starting to turn white it, at that stage they ha they will hold much better in a vase so I'm gonna prune that guy back uh, I have just a bunch of random shrubs all over oh, the lilac. I'm gonna cut some branches off of that. But first things first, I have a whole bunch of buckets that I need to clean. I've already washed the tulips. I did that last night. You've seen it a couple times already. Probably don't need to see it again. But yeah, I'm going to wash buckets, uh, take the wagon out and go find what we can find in the garden. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, pan around. The greenhouse is kind of a mess but it's emptying out look at that all empty those are our most heat loving plants over here so yeah almost there Buckets are washed. I filled up the wagon. Next step is to tackle the snowball bush. I'm just gonna get after it. I've got some whoppers and my, uh, I borrowed my husband's Velcos and we will see what we can do. Well, I like it. It's a lot more open. This whole bottom piece was just on the ground. Clearly, we weren't able to get under there to do any maintenance. So now we can get that all cleaned up and it'll be a lot easier to take care of. Check this out though. Viburnum was sitting on the ground and it started rooting in. I might cut that and see if I can't grow it on. Why not? It's worth a shot. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is basically cut this all apart and get it into a bucket for hydrating and hopefully we have a whole bunch of foliage for this weekend's market. So one thing I want to see to show you guys is that if when you're cutting woodies like this, like shrubs, they don't tend to want to absorb water very easily. So one of the things that helps, can you see that, is to cut them up the stem. That just gives more surface area for the water to um, be absorbed. So I just wanted to show you that. Got the snowball bush all cut up. It's got to sit for a couple of hours. It's going to need to sit for a couple of hours um, to hydrate. And look, the sun's coming out. It's, it's been pretty darn rainy the last couple of days. Uh, next thing I'm going to go take some stems of is our lilac. are this the best I don't want to cut too many off of this because I like the shrub so that's gonna be it for that I think the last thing that I want to go cut some I want to double check the honeysuckle and then I have a couple little bits and bobs out of the st. Francis garden that I want to get after look the first bearded iris isn't that beautiful I just love them so I didn't find any honeysuckle ready to go. I did find some angelica. You just saw the bearded iris. I also found some lavender in there, or sorry, rosemary. So those are all good. I'm gonna head over to the St. Francis Garden and see what we can find over there. All right, got all our extras all together. These are scented geranium blooms. There's an anemone or two. These GM are some of my favorite. So these are uh, euphorbia. I do have to warn my customers that the euphorbia sap can be kind of caustic if you get it on your skin and you're out in the sunshine. But as long as I tell them about it, it should be good. Um, but yeah, this is already needs to sit here in the shade for a couple hours to hydrate and just get itself used to being cut. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go have lunch, maybe pull a few more tulips and then get everything ready so we can, so I can make bouquets.
these this week. There's so much color. All these tulips still have yet to open. They're just going to grow in the vases and just be unbelievable. for today let me show you how we did all oh, these are so beautiful this is my leftovers bucket all oh, these tulips and ranunculus look at that I am over the moon, these are all red, red tulips. I'm pretty excited about what's, what's in the buckets this week. All I'm gonna do for the rest of the night is go get these in the cooler, go eat some dinner, get some rest, cause tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Okay, we're all set up. Uh, it's kind of nasty out. It's gonna be windy and rainy, so I don't have a high hopes for this one. And I'm by myself, John hurt himself, so. But uh, I may have some free time to go wander around the market this time, since it's probably not gonna be as busy as it has been. I'm in love with the colors this week. Isn't this just the best location? Right on the water. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pouring. So if 
probably not getting a lot more today. But we've done pretty good. Sold out mostly, but yeah, it's wet and kind of windy and miserable. There's still some people milling about, but I don't expect them to last too much longer. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of, kind of miserable. All right guys, it's the next day. We made it through. All right guys, it's the next day. We made it through the market. You saw how miserable it got. There were, the last couple hours, there was hardly anybody there. But on a bright note, it was still pretty good for us. Uh, everybody seemed to have heeded the warning and they came early and that we, we did about half of what we've done the last couple weeks, but half of the last couple weeks is still, better than most weeks all season last year. So I'm pretty excited. It, it went really well. Uh, not looking forward to it. We'll see the weather report right now shows rain next Saturday too, but uh, I don't know. It's so weird this weather. It's been so warm. And then the last couple of weeks, it just dropped. It's in the fifties for highs and it's rainy and windy and yeah, I don't know. Either way, uh, it was a good market day. Uh, we, I had fun despite the, the weather and uh, it's always good to see the community and my farmer friends and my regular customers. So I still enjoyed that. So if you guys like this, again, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next go around.